Hey, welcome to Blender Tutor. My name is Tom, and today we're going to be going over creating easy volumetric clouds in Blender 2.91. So Blender 2.91 just came out recently and it added a few really awesome new modifiers that make creating clouds in Blender super easy now. So let's get started. So now with this new modifier called Mesh to Volume, you could take any already created 3D model. We'll just need to add in a volume empty and that'll create a new volume up here in our scene organizer. And then with that volume selected, go to the modifier panel and add Mesh to Volume. And then we could just select our mesh and then I will just hide our mesh now. And you could already see we have what looks like a volume, but it's really low quality right now. So in the modifier, you could actually turn up the voxel amount to make this more high resolution. So I'm just going to bring this up to like 256 and now you can see that's a lot cleaner looking and already uh, it adds a volume material to your object. So if we go into rendered view, you can already see it is working. You could even turn up the density of your volume in the modifier. But we're gonna do a little more and I'm honestly gonna render this in cycles just cause it looks a lot nicer. But you could obviously do this in Eevee as well. So next to Give this some variation to make it look a little more interesting. Let's add a volume displace, which is another new modifier. So we can create a new texture and then click this little button right here. That'll bring us over to the texture editing tab, which is right down here. And let's change this from image or movie to clouds. And you can already see this is adding the displacement. Now you can adjust this. What I like to do is add a few of these at different levels. So I'm gonna make a big one that's like 0.75. Maybe even bigger, I'm gonna bring it up to one. And then over here, I'll maybe play with the strength of the modifier. And now I'm gonna add a second volume displace, another new texture, I'm gonna go edit that one. This one I'll bring down to like 0.35. And also adjusting the depth will give it a little more finer detail. And you could also, I would kind of play with the strength of each different level of the displacement modifier. And this is also going to be affected by what your voxel mount is. So if you want finer detail, you're going to have to turn up that voxel mount higher. I'm going to add one more and make this really tiny, like 0.1. And now you can see that's getting some really tiny detail in here. And I might even bring up my resolution to like 400. And now for this big one, I don't need it to be this strong. So I might bring that down to like 0.15 or something. Now if I go into rendered view, you can see we're already getting um, some clouds. Now I will say the default volume material that it applies is not too great looking. So what we could actually do is with your volume selected, you can just go and add a new material. I'm gonna call that clouds. I'm gonna bring that up to like a lighter color. Maybe I'll do a two for the density and I'm gonna blast the sun at it so we're getting some more like light. Maybe I'll give this sun a little like yellow color. Bring it up to like five. And I might bring my environment lighting up too so I get some more lighting on the front. Here I'm just bringing an area light to give it a little more front lighting so it's not so dark. I'm gonna give that more of like a blue color bring that up to like 500 and maybe I will bring the density down a little bit like 1.65 I just want a little more light shining through the cloud and also when you render out one of these um, when you render out one of these images make sure to turn off your 3d model in the render view not just the viewport so that's looking okay, it's still a little dark. Um, what I'm gonna do is there's a couple things in shading. If you go into world, we could have two versions of our world, or our, it's our basically our HDRI lighting. Um, we could have one that is being seen by the camera, and then we'll have another one that's actually lighting the scene. So if you just duplicate that background, node and then bring in a, a mix shader. Uh, I believe we want this top one to be the lower value and this one I'll bring up to like five. And then we could bring in a light path node and use the camera ray 
um, as the fact value. So I actually have it backwards. You're gonna want the higher one and the top value. So let's swap those. And now you could see that the background looks, you know, exposed properly, but now the lighting on the clouds is getting a lot more of that glow from the sun. So I'll render that out real quick. And now I'm just gonna use a curves node and a glare node to adjust the contrast of our image and also to give it a little bit more sun glare. For my final render of that, I'm just going to bring up the resolution of our voxel volume up to 512. By the way, if this tutorial is helping you out, uh, make sure to like it and subscribe. Cool, and yeah, it's that simple. Um, that only took me a couple minutes to throw this together. Obviously this isn't a traditional cloud, so I am gonna go over really quick how to model a simple cloud in Blender. So let's hide this. I'm gonna bring in a meta ball. And if you don't know what these are, these are just an interesting type of mesh that kind of once you duplicate it and you have multiple, you can, depending on how close they are, they kind of form together into a single mesh. So uh, you can just take a, a single one of these, duplicate it a bunch, and kind of just move it around until you get some interesting shapes. And I'm gonna try to keep the bottom of that um, as flat as possible, but to finish that off, we could bring that into sculpting mode. So, so once you're happy with the general shape of your cloud with your like initial meta ball selected, which kind of encompasses the entire shape, we can uh, turn up the resolution because right now you can see it's really blocky and chunky. So let's just bring that down to like 0.1 in the resolution for the viewport. Um, that should be good enough. And now that I could, I could actually see that a little smoother, I might adjust this a little more. And select your initial meta ball first, and then you can select the rest of them and deselect anything else in the scene. With all of these selected, you can just go up to Object, Convert to Mesh. And now in edit mode, you can see this is just one giant mesh. You could use this as your base for your cloud, but I'm gonna go into the sculpting mode and I just kinda wanna flatten out that bottom real quick. So in sculpt mode, before we do anything else, let's just give this a little more resolution. So go up to remesh. We're gonna turn this voxel size down to like 0.05. And let's just remesh that real quick. And you can see that kind of just brought up the resolution of our mesh. And then we'll scroll down on our tool, tool shelf on the left. You can use box trim and just kind of draw a flat line across the bottom. It might load, take a second to load. And you can see it just kind of cut our cloud uh, through the box. Or use the box to cut the cloud um, from that straight line. Uh, the only thing now is that bottom edge or that bottom face is just one big face. So you just select something else. Let's go up to remesh one more time and click that. And now you can see it added in new resolution on the bottom. And that's pretty much it. Now we can go back to our main scene and let's just choose our volume that we had with our smiley face or whatever model you were using. And I'm going to just change the, in the modifier, I'm gonna change the mesh from smiley. I'm gonna rename that to cloud. So select our volume and let's choose cloud. And then we could turn off our cloud mesh. And there you go, now we have a cloud instead of a smiley face. And you can just kind of duplicate that now, if you have the voxel mount up as high as I do, it is going to really slow down your viewport. So I'm gonna bring that down to like 50 for now. And then turn back my cloud. I'm gonna duplicate it a couple times. Kind of mess with the scale and rotation of it. And obviously with this technique, you can just create a bunch of clouds. And what we can do is just turn off my volume real quick. I'm gonna shift select all of these and select our initial cloud last. So it is the lighter orange color. Hit Control J. 
they're all gonna join as one mesh. And now we could turn that off, turn our volume back on. And we're just gonna have a bunch of clouds now. And then lastly, I'll bring that resolution back up. Now I have a small patch of clouds. I can adjust my camera and I'll render this out real quick. And there we go. That is a super easy way to make pretty nice looking clouds in Blender in a matter of minutes. If you liked this tutorial and you want to have access to my project files, you can check out my Patreon. Depending on your tier, you have access to my Blender tutorial project files, material packs, 4K renders uh, for phone wallpapers, and shoutouts in my videos. Also, make sure to check me out on Instagram at thomaslatfeast3d where I post a lot of my Blender artwork, experiments, and I post anytime I'm going to have new tutorials up. And if you make anything based on my tutorials, I will give you a shout out on my Instagram stories. Otherwise, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.